Boom. So I recorded an entire YouTube video not realizing that the sound that I was recording on was non-existent. We love that. I made a video, again, three years ago called Change is Good, I Think, and it was a video that I really liked. Um, it's a video where I spoke about the dreams and the goals that I had in my life up until that point and places that I wanted to be in the next couple of years. I didn't say the years part, but that's just semantics. So fast forward to now. It's another one of those videos. This one might not be as pretty as that one was, but I'm doing my best here, guys. So give me some slack. In that video, like I said, I spoke about the things that I wanted. One of those things being what I wanted to major in in college. Uh, I remember in the video, it was a pivotal point in my life. It was during the summer um, before college and I was still an undecided freshman basically. And I really didn't know where I wanted to spend my energy, where I wanted to uh, really devote my time into making me who I am right now, kinda. It's weird because you think you do know and then when that thing or whatever the heck like creeps up on you and it's like in your face, uh, it never really pans out, at least for me, <laughs> the way that I want it to. Yeah, that was me, uh, 18 years old, saying I wanted to major in English in college. Me, English, I can barely speak that. <laughs> Fast forward to now, it is 2019, uh, three years since the video, and I can honestly say that, and I'm glad about this, I didn't follow a single thing in that video. Like I said, back then I lived in Texas, I had maybe two close friends, and both of them told me, hey, you should, you write a lot on your Instagram, why don't you major in English? And you know what? I thought they were geniuses. They were smarter than Albert Einstein at the time, because me who literally didn't know what I was supposed to do or what I was supposed to major in or my purpose in life, I let, again, someone dictate that for me. But like I said, fast forward to now, and I didn't follow any of those things that kind of plagued me, or not plagued me, or guided me at the time. I ended up doing film. I thought that by using my energy to create something that other people can see that somehow the things that were in my head could kind of leave forever. But as we all know, just because you say it one time doesn't mean it's gonna suddenly disappear or you're not gonna worry about it again. Like, it's perpetual want. Like, it's you, but it's not, but that you kind of wants to move in a certain direction but you're not ready for that yet. And what I want now compared to back then is something that I didn't think, well, that's not necessarily true. I didn't think at the time that I could want what I want now, which is to literally change everything and get this, get this, major in philosophy. What? Philosophy isn't um, a major or anything like that that people associate with, um, I don't know, wealth or women or, <laughs> I'm joking, but just kind of a weird like path or whatever. Obviously, if you are a long time subscriber of this channel or if you're new here, you know, if you click back and watch some videos or whatever, uh, you'd know that I literally talk about everything probably more than once. <laughs> it's a path where I believe that I can do or put the best, my best foot forward and uh, really excel or succeed. Along the way, uh, I've gotten some advice from people um, who have really invested in me and told me, hey, like, you know, you have to do what you want to do, not what people expect of you or expect you to do. And to quote the Avengers one more time, if that has become apparent already, I watched Endgame last night, so. You're supposed to not, or at least Thor said, uh, <laughs> you want to kill the person you're supposed to be so you can be the person that you want to be. But I know that's never who I knew I was supposed to be. And now who I want to be is somebody who sees the world as it is, it's a great big place, and really, like, go out there and explore it, you know? See what's out there, and really just take my time. There's no rush. 
um, and just do it. You know what I mean? Like, do that shit and do it right. Uh, no one really tells you when you're a senior in high school that, hey, um, you're going to move to three or four different places uh, in the next couple of years. And that's how you're going to figure out that this isn't what you want. And you're going to find what you want to do. But no one really back at that time told me any of that. No one could foresee that was uh, my destiny or whatever. So life experiences shape everything. And if you don't have enough or if you have too much, uh, your decisions could alter based on all of those. So if you're watching this and you're like, oh, like I want, I don't know if this is the decision that I want or I don't know if this is the path I should take or I don't know if this is like cool or like good for me. Like more likely than not, it's probably not. But then at the same time, more likely than not, it probably is. But you'll never know until you try. And if you fail, it's just a life experience. But if you succeed, guess what? A life experience. It is May 1st, 2019. Um, and I don't really know what's happening in the next three years from now. Uh, I might look back at this and thought that everything I said was a bunch of shit. Um, but if that's the case, then that's the case. Like I said, experience. Even the future Savion is something that can never be wrong. So, um, thanks for watching. I'm Savion. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you next week. Um, let me know how you've been. It's been a minute. I haven't talked to anybody in a minute, a fat minute. I, I don't, I don't. Link me some video ideas that you guys want me to talk about. I'll talk about that. Um, and yeah, like that's all. I can really say it for right now. Hope you guys are well. Um, hope you guys are doing okay. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Jeez Louise.